John Lennon kept the world entertained throughout the 60s and 70s. His genius music reimagined the world while his sense of humor endeared him to us forever. Here are some of his captivating moments with insights into a favorite album, the NFL, the Beatles' iconic JFK interview in 1964, and even a hilarious interview about LSD. Enjoy this trip down nostalgic Penny Lane. And if somebody ever loved me like she does, I'll just be really out. And if somebody ever loved me like she does. They think your uh, haircuts are un-American. Well, it was very observant of them, because we aren't American, actually. <laughs> true, that. True, true. Now I've got a most familiar figure and face for all of you across the country here with me now. Of the original Beatles, Mr. John Lennon. Hello, John, Howard. Nice to see you, How John. You? Nice Want to move here. that up just a little yeah. closer? How are you? What's been your view of this American professional football scene? Well, it's an amazing event and sight. It makes rock concerts look like tea parties. But I must say, the first thing I heard when I got in was I'm playing a Beatles tune yesterday, which cheered me up no end. <laughs> I've That's... been trying to follow the game, but I've... I couldn't understand why half the team was off and half the team was on. Well, we can't explain that to you now, but what's your general impression of the game as compared with A, rugby, and B, soccer, football? It's nothing like soccer, but I can see a very close relationship to rugby football, which has the same shape ball, and they move 15 yards down the line at a time. But I can see the game here has changed completely from that. But it, this, it's very similar in its aspects. The goals are the same. They have points the same. They have to get a touchdown the same. But they don't have the scrum here where both teams really punch <laughs> each other you know well we have our own kind of scrum as we've been showing with defensive end eddie uh, uh, freddie dreyer number 89 of the rams all night will the beatles ever reunite you never know you never know i mean it's always in the wind if it looked like this it might be worth doing right you did just spend the weekend with ringo yeah and i promised him i'd mention his album out now and i said i wouldn't mention my own which is out now too forget it <laughs> thank you very much it's been John. a pleasure thanks for having me Harry. well maybe we'll get to talk to you later in the show right now we've got to rejoin the giffer Frank okay giffer. giffer over to giffer bye bye and let's... no <laughs> sorry next question <laughs> no we need money first <laughs> which one are you Eric, Eric, Eric. Here, here is uh, the American public. I'm John. You're John. Yes. I'm yes. Joe. Yes. Well, John, here is the American public. Forty million American viewers. Sounds looks like staring, one man to me. Staring you right in the face. Ask oh, the cameraman. What is? And then we got pushed around from one corner of the lounge to, to another. You, know. you treat like ordinary passenger. Ordinary yeah. passenger. Is the same. <laughs> <laughs> it's an ordinary passenger. What? He doesn't get kicked, does he? <laughs> <laughs> Take John, in this royal variety show when you're appearing before royalty, uh, your language has got to be pretty good, obviously. This thing about Teddy saying that he couldn't distinguish uh, you... I can't understand the, the Queen's English. I can't understand Teddy saying that at all, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to vote for Ted. Um, but uh, you're not going to change your act just for uh, the Lord Privy. Oh, no, like, we'll keep, like, the same kind of thing, like, won't we? Oh, well, uh, yes, Yeah, that's man. right. Are you individually millionaires yet? No, no. that's another lousy room. I wish we were. Brian Epstein a millionaire. No, even he's not one poor fellow. Where well. does all the money go? Well, a lot of it goes to Her Majesty. <coughs> <laughs> but today I cease to say that they have been made members of the most honourable order of the British Empire. Congratulations, John, George, Thank you. Ringo Thanks. and Paul. Thank Tell you. me, how did you all react to this? Well, I went... <laughs> <laughs> Which means in sound. Whoopee. Well done. Uh, sure. I know about a year and a half ago, and there were quotes on the wire about uh, oh. your discussion of LSD and uh, some other things, narcotics. <sighs> Yes, Larry. Uh, it seemed to me, from what I read, that you had endorsed it and uh, condemned we it. We were manufacturing it. What's the time? story? <laughs> no, the, the business went bump. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I was a phenomenon.